Hi everyone, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this lacy cardigan. It's so easy to make, um, and uh, we are making it with um, all together. That's the back side. And front side. For this one, I used this yarn. It's Angora Natural. It's a category one yarn. And one of them is, um, sorry. Uh, 301 yards, 100 grams. I use a little more than two balls. That's the third ball. And that's large size. I haven't used any steam on it yet, but I think you see the results in the beginning. And I use 4.5 millimeter hook. Hope you like it. Please feel free to share your opinion about it. I'm waiting for your comments. And uh, if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. For this cardigan, we are going to make two panels. I made the first one. We will fold it from the middle and this will be the front side back side and we are gonna make one more uh, so you can measure yourself uh, starting from front sides um, belly or anywhere you want to start okay this will be longer by the way and here your shoulder turn back and measure yourself i'm gonna give you the measurements just a second from here sorry it's almost 30 centimeters 20 inch long I'm just stretching it a little bit because uh, we are gonna uh, block it or use some I use some iron steam and it will be bigger than this. And if you measure it from here, it's forty four inch long, one hundred uh, twelve centimeters long again it will be bigger when we uh, block it i'm telling this to you uh, so consider this while you are uh, starting actually at first i started with more chains and it was so big so i uh, restart uh, I was in the second row and I restart to make it. For this one, I used 255 uh, chains. For this stitch, you will need multiples of five, but it's be better if you, if you start with a number who uh, end up with five. Because at the end, you will need uh, you need these shells uh, to be multiples of two and when you fold this one you will have same number for both sides and i will show you how to make this stitch uh, you can start with uh, 255 chains as i made or any numbers you need. I'm gonna show you a, a little piece. No, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. It's twenty-five. When you complete your chains, yarn over, skip one, two, three, into this fourth chain, put a double crochet, pull through two, pull through two. So we have two double crochets here, count this one as a double crochet too. Then skip two, into this third chain, put two double crochets, one chain and two more double crochets into same place we skip two chains here that's just for the beginning and the end okay for the rest you're gonna skip four into the fifth you're gonna work a shell skip one two three four into the fifth Two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. Skip four into the fifth, one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Repeat this till you end of the row. And when you reach to the end, skip two into this last chain, put two double crochets. And that's the end of the first row and that's just only one row. We are going to repeat this chain three turn and into this first stitch put a double crochet now skip here into this one chain space make a shell chain one two more double crochets into the next chain space Make a shell. Into the next. Make one. And make one more. In the end, you will have these two double crochets at the top of these chains. On this third chain, put a double crochet and one more. And that's all. You are going to repeat this. I will show you how many rows I made. I made 24 rows. That can give you an idea maybe and when you reach to the end just cut this yarn and if you want you can uh, start with the same way with this one okay start with same numbers make a, a, a separated panel make two separated panels actually then sew them but um, I'm gonna use this panels chains so that's the right side of my work how can you understand it that's my starting uh, tail okay it's on the left now I'm going to turn this, I'm going to start from here, you can see 
these uh, chains are used easily, we are going to use same chains. Okay, just insert from this first one. chain three and into the same place, put a double crochet. Now into these chains I made shell. Here I'm going to put a shell. Chain one, two double crochets into the next, put a shell. With this way you will not bother with it. Um, the sewing part, I really don't like uh, sewing. And it's easy, I think, this way, the easier way. And it looks beautiful. Now, I made the half of it. I have uh, totally 50 um, shells. And I made 25. Okay. And this will be the front side. So it must be open. Okay. You cannot keep going from here. Uh, and for this, um, I'm going to use a different yarn or you can use the yarn from the uh, outside of your yarn, okay? Um, I totally have uh, 255 as you know if you think it like 250 I have uh, almost 125 chains for here add three more if you want you can count your chains like that 5 10 tw uh, 15 20 you can count them uh, but I divide it it's uh, I divide 250 okay don't uh, mind this five and it's 125 then add three more so i'm gonna make 128 chains from here and i promise it will be easier from now on okay just make these chains Join here and make your chains. One less, one more, it's not too important. Okay. I made my chains and I'm gonna make one more. Cut the yarn. I'm gonna use this chain like a slip knot. Okay. Now we are gonna use this yarn again. Skip one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and into this fifth chain, make a shell. One, two, three, four, make a shell. keep repeating this till the end. I made 25 shells and now I'm gonna skip two into the last chain. I'm gonna put two. As I told you, you can have one more, one less chains. Just skip them all and make your last two double crochets. Chain three. Turn Make one double crochet into first stitch and make your shelf.
And starting from here, we're gonna just make the shells like we did before. And when you reach to the end, into this chain, make two double crochets, turn, repeat the same row, uh, same amount of uh, rows, okay? I have 24, if you have different numbers, just make the same. And I'll see you when you finish this side too. I complete all of it and I join this part. I start to join from here and that's the wrong side of my work. Okay, you can understand it from here. That's the right side. Both sides are so similar, so it's not too important. And here I leave um, 18 shells, 20 centimeters. When uh, we use iron steam, it will loosen up and I think it will be almost 25 centimeters. That's enough for me. Now we are going to join the other part. You can sew it. Uh, I'm going to use my hook. Just insert from this chain and it's first stitch. Make a chain, insert into the next stitch, the next stitch from here, make a single crochet. Next stitch, put a single crochet, a single crochet, that's our space, put a single crochet. Just a second. Just use both loops and chain spaces. Keep joining. You can leave 18, totally 18 shells like I did for the other side or you can measure yourself and find your own measurements. Um, join here and we are going to make the sleeves. I complete the joining and made one of the sleeves. This time I made short sleeve but if you want you can make it long. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, decreases if you want you can make some decreases and make it long um, I made totally five rows and into this third row I made two decreases and I started from here and go this way and for this one by the way that's the right side of my work and for this one I'm gonna start from here here and go this way. Now that's my first shell. Uh, I'm gonna start from here and make three chains. One, two, three. And into this space I'm gonna make my shell. And I'm gonna 
make shells uh, when you reach here uh, I'll see you there I complete the row and join from this third chain chain 3 and turn we will always turn our work and into this space make your shell keep making when you reach here you are gonna join from this third chain chain three turn and make one more row uh, sorry sorry just uh, wait for me no just uh, finish this row okay for the next row we are gonna make decrease see you there chain three turn now we are gonna make degrees how to make it insert into first space sorry make two double crochets don't make any chains insert into this next space make two double crochets that's my first degrees now i'm gonna keep making shells till i reach here make a, a half of it okay i'll see you here i made uh, seven shells don't count these two okay seven shells now i'm gonna make one more decrease <laughs> make two double crochets and into the next make two more double crochets then make your uh, seven shells again see you at the end and you reach to the end just join in chain three and turn make your shells and when you reach these degrees make your shell here and make your shell between these two make your shell between these two here then make one here keep making okay uh, think this one as a shell the complete this row then make one more row see you at the end I complete totally five rows now I'm gonna make some single crochets don't turn your work I'm at the right side of my work okay chain one and you're gonna put one single crochet into each stitch including this chain space Just complete the row with single crochets. When you complete your single crochets, join from the first stitch and make one more row. I'm gonna make totally um, four rows, but um, three rows with single crochet for the last row let me count okay one two three yes for this fourth row i'm gonna make some picots by the way if you want you can change your hook if you want use this uh, 4.5 for uh, this row too and for the next uh, two rows you can use a four millimeter hook it will be make this um uh, ribbing uh, tighter okay I'm gonna make three rows then turn back to you I complete three rows by the way I haven't changed my hook because I'm a tight hand crocheter so that works for me now I'm gonna make one two three single crochets and a pico just a second 
chain one, two, insert from here, that's the font loop, and you see that's my single crochet's um, left leg, okay? I will fix this single crochet first. Chain two. Make a slip stitch. That's a pico. Starting from the next, make one, two, three, chain two, make a pico. One, two, three. A pico. Keep repeating this. In the end, you could have more or less stitch. Let me see. You see, in the end, I made one, two uh, single crochets and a pico. I finish it with this way. I have two more stitch here. If you want, you can just make two more single crochets. You don't have to make this pico. Um, and just complete here, then we will make um, the sides. I complete the sleeve now. I'm gonna make here, that's the back side of my work. And right side. Now, around this side double crochets or chains, I'm gonna put two single crochet. One, two. Around the next, one, two. Next, one, two. One, two. One and two. If you want, time to time, you can make three. It's a little uh, up to you, okay? It's, um, I'm gonna keep doing this I'll see you here at this corner you will make two here and two here if you want you can put one here okay. see you at the corner when you reach this corner into this first chain I'm gonna put one two three single crochets. If you want, you can put a stitch marker into the second uh, single crochet because we are gonna make the corner here for the next rows. And for here, make one, two single crochets, make one into this stitch and we, are, we have a uh, four uh, chains here. I'm gonna put three single crochets into this space. One, two, three, four. Could be two loose, so I will put three. One into here. One, two, three, and one. One, 
two, three, one. And keep repeating this. When you reach to the top, you can put two single crochets here. Then keep repeating, make three, one. One, two, three, and one. Keep making, um, when you reach here into this last chain, you will make three uh, single crochets again and make here just like we start we did here okay I'll see you when you finish and into this last stitch put a single crochet join with a slip stitch chain one and start to make single crochets again Put one single crochet into each stitch. See you at the first corner. Now, I reach this corner. That's the first stitch and second stitch. I'm gonna put a single crochet into this first stitch. Sorry for this noise, just a second. And into this second, I'm going to put one, two, three. Into the next, put only one. And starting from here, put one stitch, a one a single crochet into each stitch except the corners. You are going to put one single crochet for here. You don't need to make uh, any increases for this top part. I'm gonna make it for a few rows. When I turn back, I will give you the row counts. See you there. I made three rows. That's the row four. Okay. I made this um, here and started from the corner. I like to make some picots. I will make it only for this front side, okay? I'm gonna start from here and finish here. I'm at the corner. That's my um, first stitch. I put only one single crochet into the second stitch. I'm gonna put a single crochet, then a pico. Then put one, two, three, pico, one, two, three, one, two, Three and a pico. Just keep making. Uh, finish here. If you have one less or more stitch, it's not too important, as I told you before. Uh, just make your last pico somewhere here. Then make single crochets. Uh, join with a slip stitch and finish here. At the end, just. Join with a slip stitch and hide this tail.
And that's all. Hope you like this tutorial. Uh, if you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sinis Crochet is my Instagram address. Um, it's also my Pinterest website regularly and Etsy address too. And that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.